Adding a flush mounted screen on a wall with a sci-fi inspired frame can significantly enhance any room's ambience. I recycled an old 24 inch computer monitor. I stripped away the plastic casing and bezel, then reconfigured the electronics on the panel's rear. I cut a hole in the drywall to accommodate the electronics and attached very simple dryer magnets to the studs for effortless placing and removal of the monitor, and also as an aid to level it against the wall. The goal of the frame is for sci-fi look, but it's designed to conceal any remaining bezel of the screen. It's fine by me if it overlaps the viewing area in certain spots, as I'll be continuously playing ambient videos, more on that later. I drew inspiration for the frame's shape from this image to give it a futuristic touch. The frame is attached to the wall with simple but very strong neodymium magnets. Behind the frame, I attach RGB strips of addressable LEDs. Given the unique shape of my frame, I divided the LED strip into four sections by cutting the required length. The electronic is quite simple. Here is the schematics for the electronic components. In my setup, I use an ESP32 to animate the LEDs, and it was crucial to incorporate a logic level shifter because the ESP32 logic is 3.3V, while my LED strips operates at 5V. The code is very straightforward using the Adafruit NeoPixels library. I leverage the Wi Fi capabilities of the ESP32 to make an application for pinpointing the LEDs that I want to animate separately from the rest. You can find the code on my GitHub repository, the link is in the video description. I use this monitor mainly for creating a nice sci-fi ambience in my small office. I have a playlist on YouTube of very nice sci-fi ambience videos. My playlist is public, so you can go take a look at it. My office now starts to look as a spaceship with a view on the outside. Sometimes I am in outer space around strange structures or docked on a spaceport for visits, cut in the midst of galactic battles, inside a repair bay, or perhaps even detained by the Empire.